And Damon, there's a sense of warfare everywhere. There is. There's warfare yep. on our minds everywhere. Out on the playing field, yep. Carlton West Coast, it's a fight to the death. Our leader. Mm. Our leader, Brayshaw James, has set himself tonight to take on someone that used to be with us yep. and is now against us. Where the wingman goes. You well, and I, uh, we just need to follow our leader gonna, and just see what he's going to provide. We're going to take an arm each, Spud. I think I'm, <laughs> we don't think he <laughs> needs us. Me. He's going to charge over the hill and just go straight through him. Who's I in his sights, guys? Brian Taylor. Yeah. I don't mind more, taking really. a few bullets for the team early. Yeah. I can be on the suicide mission. No. I'll Never take a few down. I will Never too. To I'll, I'll sort of camouflage myself through. But Steve mm. Quartermain knows who's just drifted into this box behind <laughs> us and spent 10 <laughs> plus years calling for Triple M. All this talk and then when the bullets start firing, <laughs> they don't appear anywhere, do they? They, they just evaporate. Uh, you you t- are worked up, no. though, JB. You yeah. told us no bullets. They won't need any because you've got a mortar attack. Mm. Quarters is here in support left. as well. If he wants come. to see how the leader performs. The yeah. AFL heavyweights have come in to hear this. No, don't worry, Gary. It's We're coming. <laughs> I just need... I, I've told you that I've needed to uh, have two or three days yep. to absolutely get my ducks in a row because... Right. What I heard had happened, mm. I didn't believe. Neither did I. So then I had to go back and find out again. And I don't know what it is, but I still And then I had it. to go back and find out a third time because I didn't believe anyone was and capable of it. was it all of true? It. True. Oh, no. <laughs> so I remember, therefore... I remember, Spud, mm, back no. in the oh, 80s yes. when yes. Brian oh, Taylor... That's it. Yes. Brian Taylor and Dennis mm. Banks went fisty cuff to fisty cuff yes. out the front of the underground. That he gave a very good account tunnel. of himself. That won't worry our man, Q. Gave a very good account of himself. I'm not sure if James is in that class at the moment. No, I think he is because we want to see him lead. He's got great wingmen behind him tonight, but we can only perform if he does. If the leader takes a couple of Unfortunately, Doc's here with a medical kit. I think that's a previous incarnation of that man, Q. He's become something totally different. (laughs) If what I hear is true. He's changed. Yeah, I think so. The Twitter and world's going nuts, Jim. I'm telling two, you. These two, honestly, it has been a pantomime. Trav Davies on. wants he says, Spud and me, keep it going. You need to get Jim up. It's twig twig done. done. Oi, get on at triple footy because Jim is about to go nuts. We will. Oh, that's another one. BT apparently had a crack at Spud on Thursday night. I don't. Oh, right. So our audience, our triple, our large, in fact, yeah. I'd say our the enormous biggest. audience of 55 and under blokes the are actually audience. breathing and alive. Are listening and waiting for you. That's all I'm saying. Now, Damo, JB, this had its embryonic stages oh, in the week, during the week when, in uh, the bigger paper, I saw an article, uh, very sort of buried in the sort of third or fourth page down the bottom. In the age, uh, it was pointed out to me, and I want you to read a couple of paragraphs out to me because it, I found this of great interest. I've managed to get my ducks in a row, by the way, because I needed to. This article written by John Pyrrhic in The Age yes. on September 15, and oh, I'll just uh, pick it apart here. Yeah, well, just give Ta- us some, Brian some Taylor stuff. Had, had taken umbrage at station chief, Triple M station chief, Ben Amafio, and lead caller James Brayshaw. Oh, what? After those two men had claimed a significant victory in their stated demographic of under 55s. Well, we did, well, didn't we? In the radio. There is a significant victory radius. in that. What was it, Joe? Explain that, though, because people it's don't understand. Close to four to one. But what? Four to one what? Listeners. Who are aged what? But underneath, basically breathing, <laughs> <laughs> that listen to us. What? Four to one. Four times as many. So it is the most frighteningly lopsided ratings figure of all time. So mm. there, there's no overstating of it, Bristle. It is a fact that uh, that is a, an absolute landslide victory in the ratings, and he knows that. Oh. Well, Br- Brian was quoted mm. in this John Pyrrhic article in The Age, JB, as saying this. It was 3AW's best result since I have been there. Let, let, no, just hang on. <laughs> what? Just hang on. Since I have been let, there. Let, let me get to that in just a second. Oh. If, it wasn't, if demographics weren't important, what interests me with this, Gary, yes. is why our man, or for our former man, upon departure, tried to ease nearly every corporate partner we had out of the door oh, to did. follow him across. He didn't. And what I also find interesting, Gary, what? is none of them went. Oh, no. And you know why? Why? Because global brands don't want to sell things to people who aren't alive. No, <laughs> Jim. So, Gary. You hit the nail, I think. What, what I find interesting with this yes. is apparently demographics aren't important, but mm. partners that want to sell to those demographics yeah. are, are important enough to try and steal. Oh. And if you're not having any success selling to them, (laughs) don't blame us. Anyway, give me that line again, that second one, because I need to hear that again, please. It it was 3W's best result since I have been there. I have been there. (laughs) Does anyone else work at that place? (laughs) 
How was he in Shorey going? <laughs> They've been there nearly 50, 20 years, Kingy. Yeah. Why do they chop liver? Yeah. Do I have anything to do with this? Or is this all about one bloke who's just rolled in? These are the best figures since I have been there. He went on for a Mafio oh. and Brayshaw to come out oh. and act like Again. they have won when they have copped the biggest belting they've ever copped in their lives. They oh. need to have a very good look at where they're going. Now... What oh, I'll yeah. say look is this, Jim. Look at That's a quote move. from Brian Taylor, yep. Jamie. Yeah, I think he's going to really go in a minute. <laughs> oh, his arms folded now. I, I love everything I'm hearing with this because it's beautiful. But what what really interested me, Gary, I, and now I want to get to the nuts and bolts of this. What really interested me is how this article got to print in the first place. Well, you know how things. You know how it works in the media. Well, all right, let me let me play it this way. Then you tell me how it works. Well, I tell how, you how, how do articles normally end up well, in a newspaper? I tell you how it works. The journalist will look around and see if there's anyone or anything of interest, yes. and they'll ring that. They'll get on their phone and ring that person and start asking him questions. Very Haircut. interesting part of that sentence you just started. I'll ask you to repeat. What what do, what does the journalist do? The journalist picks like up demo. their phone and rings the person. They make the decision, the journalist, what's interesting, and they ring them. I'm Oop. not sure, and I, it's taken me a while to get this straight because I couldn't believe it when I first heard it, so I had to dive back in and dive oh, back in because oh, I've got people at newspapers, don't, Gary, don't you who dare. let me know what goes on. Don't you dare say this is what I think you're going to I needed to right. double and triple check I'm not sure what you just said, which is the norm, by the way, actually happened well, in this instance. Hang on. Well, hang well, what did hang on. Gary. That can only be I'm mean not one sure. thing. Well, what did happen? What happened? Don't, Jim, this would absolutely fall. You're not me. telling me that. It's my understanding. <laughs> don't. You don't. You dare, Jim. Yeah, Gary. It's my this understanding. A, I know I'm not this is a big it. story, but. Gary. What? It's my understanding. What? That the bristle picked up the phone and rang the journalist himself. No, oh, he did not. <laughs> said, I want oh, you to write an article not. about me. No, he, he did didn't. not. He did I not. I want an no article written about me. <laughs> no one. No. Not about my station, <laughs> no. about me. Write a story about me. Can you please write an article about me? <laughs> and, and say how bad good I am. How good no, this station no, has no, been since I've been would've, here. He wouldn't have Gary, done that. I needed, I tell you. He wouldn't have done when that. When I heard it, I couldn't believe it. Ring a man and say, no, write about me. I, I couldn't believe it. I don't believe so it. So I had to double and triple check. I don't believe that. That is where we're at with this. He rang Johnny Perrick from the age and oh, said, Pezza. write a story about, about me. About me. Please, <laughs> no, please. And the result is in the paper, Gary. I've never, so ever heard anything like that. How incorrect... You know, with regard to the ratings numbers no, and, and no. the amount of eyes and all this, no. it actually pales into insignificance no. when you're talking about that style of behaviour. Oh, I on. can't believe it. He's not that sort of man. Well, I, I'm, I cannot believe it. He's but not that sort of man. I'm telling you, Gary, when I had a whisper given to me Spud. that that's what it occurred. No, no, come on, Spud. Well, I... <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Just go right about me. Spot. I know he's a full forward, and the game was about him when he played, but I didn't realise he <laughs> went right. over there and he's just controlled the whole All setup. Right. What I'd like to do, what I'd like to do, because people listening to Triple M want to know this, I'm going to go around the room and find out if anyone in this room has done what Bristol's done here. Spud, have you ever picked up the telephone, rung a journalist, and asked him to write a story about you? <laughs> Never. I got uh, accused with haircut a while back, which uh, <laughs> was found to be untrue. So, Gary, no, never. Have you ever picked up your telephone and thought, I think it's time I had some uh, no, newspaper Jim, space never, when never. you write no, an article about me? And I know, you know, you sit back and you cop what comes your way, but I've never gone cap in hand begging, <laughs> please... Write something good about me. Uh, uh, Please. I'm telling you. That's not happened. Uh, Gary. Now, Dano, should, Dano's probably the best one to answer this. Because you've been on the other end of it a, a lot. Have you had people ring you up as a journo? Yes. This is an said, interesting angle. You know, yes. like an assistant coach or just give me a little pump up demo or here's a little tidbit, a little bit of a, you know, a little Purple. bit of white bait. It, it does happen, but probably not as blatantly as this. What? It, it does happen, though. It's actually a what stop relatively do you think this common happened, practice. Dana? Within the media fraternity, how are those people look upon then? Well, we, we just want stories, Gary. So if we've got something to fill the paper well, about, or the airwaves with, that's no. what we're going to do. What about Motti? Um, what was his name? Matthew. Did he have anything to do well, with it? I don't it? know. I, no, I don't think so. Well, I wouldn't know. Matthew. I wouldn't have a clue, to be honest. But 
when I read it, I thought, oh, well, Bristol's just firing a couple back across the bow and it's all mm. fair in love and war, Spud. We're all in this together. and So I didn't worry about it too much, although Amafio and Brayshaw, given that we've both known him for a decade, <laughs> <laughs> might have been Jim and Ben. But anyway, uh, I didn't mind any of that. But then when this whisper came through to me, Spud, oh, no. I thought to myself, oh, this <laughs> takes it to a whole new level. <laughs> I don't know of anyone who's ever well, done that. The Twitter world's gone into meltdown about <laughs> this. <laughs> well, I've, got, I've got the king of me, the Scornell 2507, Andrew Bird, Dodders, May Murph at Connors 12. They want a piece of this. They can't oh, believe Gary, it. I'm <laughs> telling you. What's the feeling like over in that oh, camp when stuff like I that goes know. on? As I say, it's not I don't a most no. harmonious block at the best of be. times, is it? I don't know. Come anyway, on. We need... Well, I think we, you know, no. for, for the good of the industry, we needed to get it out there. Oh, well, I'm, I'm happy now because I, I was a little bit confused coming here tonight. So was I, Spud. I thought the leadership is starting to fr- no, fragment. No, it was nearly, crumble. I thought I had to step up. But I tell you what, well, the foundations Spud. are built on this, JB. Spud. I'm behind you, mate. I needed to make sure I was right first. You know what it's like, Damo. You've got to get it right, You've got to get it right. Well, poor old Johnny Perrick, you know, in an oh, awkward position Johnny. when the man rings up and says, oh, right, oh, good no, stuff about it. Don't Johnny. He's just writing the story. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he's exactly got a bloke right. Just I knocking think... down the door saying, right, good stuff about me. Oh. The, the ones you like, Gary, yeah. they come to you. The way I read it, when Brian's got the team, you know, when they run out, yeah. he's 40 metres through the bed and he's <laughs> got the rest of them a It's all about me. <laughs>